Jalawa Miasharala, Kalhala Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Kakadash. We give double honor to the apostles and prophets and elders of JMS Khan, but I'm not asking for the for the being 400% truth that I've been currently edified under. And today's lesson going to be dealing with the thyroid gland, right? So, um, I'm going to get right into the lesson. Um, like I say, I'm not at home at any point in time, so bear with the noise and so on and so forth. Uh, so yeah, so let's get right into it. So firstly, we're going to go in, into Ecclesiastes chapter 38, or Sirach chapter 38 and verse 15 it says, He that sinneth before his maker, let him fall into the hands of the physician, right? And going into same Sirach jumping up to 38 and verse 4 it says, Yahweh had created medicines out of the earth. He that is wise would not abhor them. Was not the water made sweet with wood that the virtue thereof might be known? Right? So we need to I bring out this lesson, the really thyroid because it's a very main function for the body, main part of the body that we would need to address in, so in many situations, many instances. Because this is the um the thyroid the thymus is one of the key and major um glands that is used for creating and strengthening the, the cells, T cells and creating T cells, T3, T4 cells, which is hormones, right? So let me get right into the lesson. Um, uh, firstly, thyroid gland. <clears throat> right, the thyroid gland, just give, giving a rough understanding, it produces hormones that regulates the body's metabolist, metabolic rate, growth and development, right? And with understanding, it, it plays a significant role in controlling heart, muscle and digestive functions brain development and bone maintenance right so that is the purpose for the main functions for the thyroid and <clears throat> this function is depending depends directly on a good source or supply of iodine right from diet of course so now let's get into the t cells the t3 cells T3 and T4 because they as we know are what you know as um, I say hormones right which in here makes perfect sense it says the thyroid gland releases hold on right so pause hold on so right so with that being said these hormones play an important role in regulation of your weight energy levels internal temperature and skin hair nail growth metabolism and is an important part of the endocrine system right as we know so and for those who suffer i would say this early and instantly like this is a quick relief that you all could get those who suffer from thyroid problems um i was going to list a few you could use try drinking um, ginger and um, moringa leaf tea, or you could use the moringa water and make ginger water, which is a, a grate up the ginger into fine pieces. Uh, fill up that bottle with um, well half the bottle with the with the with the ginger, and you, you add the distill or, the, or your alkaline water, and you shake it. You give it a, a rough shake until all the nutrients is, is really drawn out. And then you strain it after into a cup. And with, to get the moringa water, what you could do, you get a branch of moringa leaves, you add it into your blender, you add distilled or, or, um, or, or, or spring water. And from there, what you would do, you blend until it becomes almost fine. And you strain the residue of the moringa, the, the moringa cut ups. And you use the water, you combine them together. You can make a big bottle of it. And you would drink always make make sure it's always refrigerated and you drink that twice to three times a day right make about two two liters or a gallon or let's just say a five liter bottle and you drink you make that at this that amount and you drink one cup three times a day for seven days and you would see a major improvement another thing you could use which is um, now known to be um, common is CMOS and bladder rack right bladder rack is very crucial 
for fixing majority if not all your thyroid functions and problems right <clears throat> so with that being said so with that being said that with the CMOS with the little salt that is up, up as on the CMOS itself at some of the CMOS to be exact in some of the salty waters those are what you know as iodine right so you're using the CMOS try not to try not to remove too much of the salt you're using the CMOS you're adding um, a ginger with it and what you could do you could draw it up with you could you could boil some water and as the water is fully boiled you take off the stove you add the water into your CMOS with the ginger and probably some cinnamon um, cinnamon stick and allow it to draw cover it allow it to draw for for six to eight to six to twelve hours to be exact it will form gel and with that you're using the gel and the CMOS and the ginger you can remove the cinnamon stick by using the rest and you blend it up you can blend it up with, with fruits you can blend it up with coconut water coconut milk hemp hemp seed milk um, and add a pinch of agave nectar or maple syrup and you, you blend that and you consume that twice a day or once a day if it, in, a, in a, a, a good amount or twice a day um, whether it be uh, how to put it in the morning times in the breakfast and lunch times not in the evening right and what that would do over a period of time it would help not help it would fix the thyroid problems to be exact right so when we get I want to get into the whole party dealing with the the bladder rack because when I go into the when you go into the um, I press the wrong thing. I press the wrong thing. Let me just go into this. No. Um, let me get let me get this thing. Let me get this thing proper. Okay, man. So now I give you now understanding of bladder rock. I know you probably have read this before, but let me get into it. Bladder rock, right? Is used primarily because of its high source of iodine. See that? Now when you go first, this bladder rock has been used traditionally to treat it under an oversized, underactive and oversized thyroids and to treat iodine deficiency. Bladder rock is, is also rich in calcium, magnesium, and potassium, and it contains other trace minerals. Bladder rock contains numerous phytonutrients, which is credited with its many health benefits. And inside the full cock, the the fucoxanthin anchors its antioxidant benefits, right? As the food it says, blood rock has anti-estrogenic effects and has been shown to lower the risk of estrogen deficient, sorry, dependent diseases such as um, breast cancer, polycystic ovaries, you know, and the list goes on. Um, Blood rock lowers uh, lowers lipid and cholesterol lipids and cholesterol levels and support weight loss, right? And it says is is moco polysaccharides um, phytonutrients inhibit skin enzymes breaking down in the skin, reduce uh, reduce the skin thickness, right? And improve elasticity. It says the blood rock has has also shown anti candida, which is very crucial for removing things like as you say before um cancers bacterias antibacterials and anti-tumors so and just to go even further on that let me go into the site the party and let us type in thyroid just to give you a rough understanding as to how good um the blood like, like, truly is right Person disease, right? Thyroid gland. So super effective in red writing. It says bladder rock, right? Thyroid gland inflamed. Um, the cure of it, right? Now let me go back. I don't know why that th thyroid. I'll just. <clears throat> I was going through them. I'll go into the, can the cancer last just to give you a rough understanding. See? So, the thyroid gland less active. The cure for it is blood arach as well. See? So, as you go in again, like, instead of having to go back and type it in again, you just do this. 
Then we go into, I don't know about this one. No, I know about this one. They may not say it, but it has it right here. Wait, it does have it, okay. It's supposed to have it, let, let, me, let me check. Okay, maybe it don't, but it have, okay. I learned something new. So, um, well, they're supposed to have it added here because when they go into the, um, the chart dealing with these things specifically, it states that, to be exact. And I'm going again. It um, blood work has been has been used traditionally to treat underactive and oversized. So let's see. What are we dealing here? Oh, overactive. Okay, now I understand. If it's if it's overactive, no problem. Then we don't use blood work because you could use lemon balm to be exact. You could use lemon balm. You could use um, ginger, spirulina, echinacea, coconut oil. Do not use spirit spinach. You could use the Mary Central. You could use Tegana too. Do not use broccoli. Um, you could use the bulge weed, the mother's worth, and the gram well, which we have here listed as, as part of the list as well. Right? So. And to go further, again, to deal with the. Now, the first time I've seen this disease, eh? but I mean, what do you do? What shall we do? So let me see what this is about. They said, no, I want to know what this is about. Okay. Uh, I mean, as we see here, I mean, it's already in front. Most effective against that, which is bladder rack. Right? Of course, there are other herbs. Uh, you can also take the iodine supplements, which I wouldn't recommend. Or common salt, which I also would not recommend unless it's Celtic sea salt or something. Um, so, yeah, the list is there. You all could take notes of this for those who are suffering from it. And I also put across, put, a, put together a diet which I'm going to be showing through here as well. And you all could consume that will help with the thyroid um, issues, right? Um, so, now let me go back. Uh, and again, it's like I feel the noise just now, you know. Let go back into the problem, thyroid problems, right? And it has, again, bladder rack, as you go further, black walnut, American licorice, bulge reed, flax. We don't deal with flax. I, reckon, I don't recommend flax at all. Lemon balm, jinxin, no problem. And it says with, with Anya. I don't, I don't know what is that, but I guess I, never, I will look this up. Matter of fact, I think you should look it up now. If it permits me to. Of course, when there's a herb. Right? So, it's super effective against Alzheimer's, leg pain, and hypothyroidism, which deal with the thyroids, right? Most effective against anxiety, cancer, fatigue, multiple sclerosis. Oh, sorry for the noise again. Um, oligospermia, okay. Paralysis. Sperm, sperma, spermatoria, I, 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 again, and it's bone, <laughs> um, bone cancer, depression, libido loss, osteoporosis, uh, this name is nymphomia, fomnia, nymphomia, right, fomnia, and it says, uh skytica and it have thyroid problems right me and you know me and woods i would always say that's just where it is and as you go further this herb is very good this herb is amazing to be exact what is the common name for this herb let, let me find the common name before you continue let me just look up the name withania What? Payback. Wow. I see? No. Ashwagandha. Let me make sure it, it, it is ashwagandha. <clears throat> yep. Ashwagandha. So, we do use ashwagandha, so I would definitely highly recommend using this as well. With Anya, with Bladarak, would work very well. 
So now I'll add this to my collection, which I would normally have to use, to be exact. All right, so as we continue, going back into the, um, the issue, the really thyroids. So with this, Thyroid, the, um, the new thyroid problems, um, the blood arc is the main herb that you, would, that you would use to fix or eradicate thyroid issues. Now, the new thyroid cancer is a different story. Because now we had to make sure what? You had to make sure your blood is clean. You had to make sure your blood is clean and alkaline to be exact. So you would use herbs to do what? Cleanse the blood from parasites, from toxins, from chemicals, um, from, um, let's just say, from other impurities in the body right and and allow the blood the organs to work and then you can utilize the blood arc after which is why i see in here now I, there's a list i created that a list of herbs that you could consume first to clean the blood right so what you would do first um you would use as we know burdock root yellow duck dandelion we went through this before blessed thistle chaparral sasbaria kala kal um kalawala hydrangea red clover um, and this would be a, 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 a cup of herbs that you would take early in the morning before you consume anything else, right? A cup of herbs that you would be doing in the morning that would be, um, um, that would be about, let's say, once, no, twice a day. Let's like just take one in the morning before you eat and take one in the night before you sleep. And with that, that this had nothing to do with your daily intake of, of vitamins or minerals or food, right? So what you would do now, if you get your turmeric, you get your ginger, right? Yeah, you can make a blend with that. Turmeric and ginger with some berries. I always add and incorporate the berries, most important. It might sound far-fetched, but it's very important, right? So you get your you can get your licorice fruit. You can get your um, gooseberries, your goji berries, your mulberries, your bilberries, your raspberries, your, your grapes. You, um, you can choose four out of the other, right? Um, you mix that, you add up with your, 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 your turmeric or your, and your ginger. What I would recommend, you don't blend the turmeric and ginger, but what you do is you, you make the ginger water and you blend and you make the turmeric water, you add it together, let that be a base and you add your berries. And you let that let the berries be the sweetener and the and the the part to, 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 to aid anybody, right? And you add the sour sap. You add the sour sap because you're not dealing with the sour sap leaf at the point in time. So you add in your sour sap, which is the fruit, right? You add the fruit, you add up um let's say about you could average that. You could so like I feel the noise again. You could average that fruit. You could average whatever you choose to um you could average how much you want to put in it, right? So you do that, then that will be a drink for the morning, right? And what you could consume, again, no cauliflowers. Don't study them with that nonsense. Don't let the food with that nonsense. Cauliflower has little to no minerals in the body uh, that, that, that gives anything to the body, to be exact. It's, 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 it's mineral-less. Mineral-less. So don't waste no time with no cauliflower. Sorry to say, the, 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 the certain things that will fool your food. That way I had all this, I had to have that this in spirit to get that understanding, right? So, you could use um, watercress, you could use watercress, you could use lettuce, you could use um, kales if you, if you want to. So, watercress, lettuce, kales. You could use onions, definitely onions. Definitely um, onions, definitely ginger if you want to. Um, cucumbers, very good for cooling the, the, um, the nerves. All right. And reducing, I, I'm swelling and, and certain inflammation as part of the body. That's yes, cooling the blood, to be exact, which is very, very, very crucial for part of um, healing, to be exact, right? And so, um, simple, simple list, but more, let us deal more on the base of drinking. You can also incorporate the fruits to eat, but I would more focus on the basis of drinking. So the juice that for the thyroid would be more beneficial. You'll be um, giving your body less work, which will deal more in, in fixing the thyroids. So you have your, you have your, um, your, your, your draw, your tea drawers. You could even add, if you don't, if you want, you could even add sour sap leaf to the border with your duck mixture that I, I, I recommended earlier, right? And then you get your, your like I say, you can make your ginger, your ginger water, your turmeric water. You add that in as your base. You add your fruits. You can, and you add um, you add your fruits that's one here that's one that's one that is a meal 
So you can make at least a cup or two cups full and you drink that for the morning. Your body will clean that out, right? So like I feel the noise again, I'm gonna let this pass. Right, so as you continue. So um, that, is, that is your first part. That would be like a 10 o'clock diet, a 10 o'clock meal, right? So two hours after you drink your, 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 your herbs, that would be a 10 o'clock meal. Your, 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 your 12 o'clock or your 12 o'clock meal will be simos, bladder rock, right? Simos and bladder rock and ashwagandha because I added that because I know me use ashwagandha with simos. So using simos, bladder rock and ashwagandha, you add in coconut water or you could use coconut milk and as your base to be exact with the simos, to them be a base. You add the coconut milk and you add your um, agave nectar or I just make guava juice, I just draw, I just boil the guava, get the richness out of it and, and you add that guava if you want to into to, as a sweetener. It's not, that, it's not that sweet to be because I mean that way a natural sweetener to think about it. Um, you'll get ripe guava, you cut it up and you, you make a guava juice, right? And you add that as part of the, um, add that as part of the of the base so that would be a sweetener for your, for your base or like i say a garvey nectar if you don't want to use that because i hear many people get problems with constipation with the guava so just to be on the safe side you can use a garvey nectar instead and what would happen that would be a lunch of course you could switch it up you can use hemp seed milk coconut milk um yeah hemp seed milk coconut milk to be a base Coconut water, you can use regular um, spring water to be a base. What, however, you need to be, right? You can even, add, as for your fruits, you can even add mangoes as part of that, watermelons as part of that. These, let this be a, let this be part of your, your fruits. You can add these things in, right, for hydration, right? So, with that understanding now, now for, from that now, I'm going to give you the full function. So you had these two. And if you don't want to go through that wireless, you, you can use the ingredients as I call the list call here to kind of give you an understanding as to what you choose to use at the point in time to either aid or fix. Um, like you say, you could create your own remedy, find out what herbs is compatible with what because that's what this, this thing here is here for. It doesn't, it isn't all that accurate as we know, but it's very, very accurate. Okay. So let me get an example. Ginger, what is that? Ginger. Now I look up ginger and I look up the. Um, it's like a few nights, it's like a few nights again. <laughs> you can put it with ginger. So you see, exactly, how, this is what I'm saying. I have the uh, uh, the agar wood as part of the um the thing. Yeah, what it compatible with what? It agar wood. You understand? I'm going down. I want this everything that is compatible with here, just to make, make the safe side. Drumstick, which is moringa. I have moringa here. It's compatible with moringa. That was said. That was what I'd be saying. So when you go into this, lemon, same thing. Compatible with lemon. If I see baldrid here, I know I feel happy because it, it's supposed to be compatible with baldrid. Eh? If it's not, then something wrong with this app. Like I say, use a discretion with it. That is all. Um, don't, take, don't take it. I, I mean, majority, is, it is correct indeed. So The powder aco. It's supposed to be compatible with powder, powder aco because on the next side it is. Okay, well, this side it isn't. Well, you're not seeing it here. I guess it is what it is. Unless I'm using the wrong name for it. <laughs> um, guava, I can't the guava, which I already mentioned, as we know. Let me go for continue going. Um, let's see the walnut. It's really compatible with walnut. Walnut, very, very compatible with walnut. Um, so I mean, that is, 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 it's not that hard to do. You could go through it and get that understanding yourself, right? So now you get a list that you could use to get the compatibility of those and you could use it differently. Always, most important, always include bladder rack for your thyroid problems. It fixes majority of your thyroid problems. And then dealing with thyroid cancer, you can use that after you get a proper cleanse with the sour sap and the, the herbs that was re re recommended required to clean, to clean out, right? So 
Okay, when they have to clean again, write it down. Boil the root, you know, duck, down the lamb, blessed thistle, chop, around, sauce, 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 um, Kalawala, hydrangea, and red clover. That is the cleansing herbs. Yeah, all the sauce have lifted. That is the cleansing herbs. Now, guess what? Now we have to do what? We have to increase the thyroid functions, right? So, or to build up, or to fix, to fix the issue. Dealing with bladder rock, your base, this is the most important one, bladder rock. High in iodine and fix the thyroid problems. Um, sea moss, no, no, um, number two, high in iodine. You know, that gives nutrients to all parts of the body. Ginger, number three, reduce inflammation, antioxidants. Now, moringa, number four, fix the thyroid problems. High in antioxidants and majority of the nutrients is required for the body as well as the sea moss. Um, lemon balm, as we see before, these directly with what? Thyroid cancer. Lemon grass, same thing. Echinacea, thyroids. Get ginseng. Thyroids and, and echinacea and ginseng, especially the Asian ginseng, is also used to help increase the strength of the um, increase the strength of the um, of the the T cells, to be exact, right? For for those who don't know, so like so like if any noise again, um, then it had the black walnut, black walnut these with um, again for the thyroid problems, for blood, for, for parasites to be exact. The agar root, which we just recommend before, is also used for your thyroid. The guava, the grumwell, the bulgeri, the poor, the aco, right? And now, this is my remedy, which is I use again. My remedy, which I would use, two, three things. I mean, matter of fact, yeah, but these are five things, but two most important things. You get shadow benny. Let me say the right thing. You get bladder rack capsules, and CMOS capsules, it's easier. Trust, trust and believe. And make sure the CMOS capsules has the CMOS gel capsules. CMOS gel that, 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 is, that is created to put the, uh, that the CMOS gel, let the CMOS gel, let it, uh, the base of the, the capsules will be CMOS gel regardless. So you again, CMOS cap, you get capsules, CMOS capsules, and you get them blood around capsules. Now, what I would drink, what I would do, use that with some product root. Trust and believe. Burak root, sea moss, bladarak, and damiana. You, uh, you get those four. You consume two each daily, twice a day, to be exact. Then you're drinking um, sorrel, because sorrel does increase the, um, the, the strength, the, the, the reservoir of the T cells, and the, 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 the shadow benny does increase the strength of the army, or with the T cells, to be exact. So, you, you, you blend those two things, you blend the, CMOS, the, you blend the sour, sour juice with the CMOS, with the, um, with the shadow benny, right? Shadow benny to be exact. And you use that with a hint of CMOS gel. Oh, let's, I mean, if you have the CMOS, if you don't double, if you don't double use, you can use moringa water with the sour juice. With, and you add that with the shadow benny, you blend that and you drink that every day. You could do that and then make your berry juice as part of your meal. That by itself will fix everything that you would need concerning, um, concerning thyroids. Give it a month, a simple month, and that would fix your thyroids by a, a huge mark. You would not have to worry about thyroid problems anymore, right? So, with that understanding, this is supposed to conclude the lesson here. So I hope this lesson was indeed edifying, right? I hope you all take notes. Everything that I've mentioned here is good for fixing the thyroids and for other parts of the body as well. But we know as of, at the point in time, we are indeed dealing with just the thyroids. So, because when you go into it, there are many of these herbs that are blood like ginger. Ginger, as you can see, ginger with alkalines, adaptogenic alkalines right go further this is ginger ginger has many benefits as well as the others but directly or majorly will be dealing with the thyroids for, for today which is why we had to bring up ginger to be exact but in fact, i think it, i'm gonna see if the thyroids anything to do with thyroids here it's supposed to be if it's not then again um uh, it's supposed to be here if it's not here then the next side which is lower down right thyroids if not, then look right it. No, 
T-H-Y. Thyroid problems, right here on this side. See that? Thyroid problems. So, off rip. It fixes. Watch me. Watch me. Wait, don't leave it now. I'll put back on your stuff. Yeah. Thanks. Right, so, that's where it is at the point in time. So, what, what you could do is, you could, um, like I said, go back through the list. There's, there's the site. You could check the site. I guess the next site, I could um, show you on the next site again. Next site is more informative than this one, if you all did not know. So, I guess I will start bringing these sites for you all to get some understanding. And this is only dealing for the children of Yasharala. Only children of Israel, not Israeli. Me and down about them. So, anyways, Shalom Yasharala, Kalhala Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Kakadash. And we get double on see like many of the, um, the apostles and, and elders and members and like many brothers speaking like many truth. And to them and to all, Shalom.